yeah, it's a great pleasure to meet work here in Switzerland. Uh, it's uh, the 40th time, the biggest festival in Europe, and you're on stage. After the show, how you feel? We had uh, a little technical issues, but it was really fun, really fun. We, we love uh, these uh, narrow uh, streets here that the stage is in and you can just watch. The, See all the people like... Yeah, mm. Fill up the street and it's just, like very cool. <laughs> You're a newcomer in the electro band. Please tell us more about... Um, we started like two and a half year ago, more? Uh, no, two and a half year yeah, ago. Two and a half year ago. And uh, we uh, won a competition in Iceland called uh, Music Tillerinir. And that's like a ball battle of the band. And uh, yeah, we we like started the band for the competition, so we ended up winning it, and we had like uh, three songs, <laughs> and uh, yeah, then the things start to like roll and escalate. stuff. What? Yeah, escalate. Uh, things started to escalate, and uh, uh, we were asked to play a concert uh, here and there and everywhere, and uh, we only had three songs, so we played for ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. See ya. <laughs> And uh, then uh, we like uh, got more songs, uh, composed more songs, and uh, it started to get a little bit bigger. And uh, we started to invest more of, um, uh, well, everything into our project. So I guess that's why we're here. Yeah. Just, uh, this random idea from her to participate in this battle of the bands. I'm really happy about it, yeah. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did it and uh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, how you get your style? Because it's not the mainstream music. That's a good question. Yeah, it's uh, well. The, the style is uh, the brainchild of me and Margaret, and we uh, we had a lot of inspiration from uh, '90s trip hop, um, Portishead, uh, Massive Attack. We had like this thing for like sensual music. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we we didn't really think that music should be like a uh, nuisance or like uh, like uh, hurt your ears or stuff like. Uh, we want to do like music that just like soothes you and uh, and and get a lot of feelings. Yeah, affect hopefully, you. Hopefully, yeah, affect you in a way. Yeah. yeah. Is this something characteristically from Iceland? Because when I listen to your sound and I close my eyes, it could be like a, a film or a documentary of Iceland. It's definitely influenced by the island, the, the isolations, uh, the yeah, isolation. It's, it's more of like, a, yeah, you know, uh, at least for me, uh, it's not like the nature and it's not like the nature and the stuff is the biggest like influence. It's more of, it's more like you're living on an island somewhere way uh, out in the Atlantic Sea and uh, you're pretty isolated and you have nine months of winter and uh, you you know we find we have to find something to do so uh, the, the there's definitely like uh, I don't think it's a conscious like uh, I think it's subconscious that uh, of course the weather and the winters and the landscape and everything around us are affecting us all the time but we never like decided that it would do that you know yeah. it's just it's a part of our culture and of our uh, our nation like 90 percent of the people in iceland want to like listen to like <laughs> just just to feel happy you know yeah. and we like write like really depressing music yeah. so yeah the, the weather definitely affects us without yeah. knowing it you know all the nature around us yeah. affects us yeah, you started with uh, three songs. You have finished your debut album now, or what can you tell about your productions? We have two EPs. Uh, we released uh, one in uh, 2013. Yeah. That is called Tension. It's uh, five songs. And we released uh, Circles in uh, May. May, May now. Yeah. And we're still working on an album. Because like our sound is always like evolving, so uh, yeah, there's nothing. 
we're not in a hurry. Um, we we want to get it right rather than uh, just go, go for it. How it is uh, as a musician in your country and the support you get from maybe from the government or from from institutions. It's uh, great uh, support. Yeah, the uh, government and uh, the Icelandic music export is really helpful. Yeah. Uh, they've done a lot of great things for us. Union for musicians, if that mic didn't catch that. <laughs> like and, and like uh, the music uh, community yeah, the music is scene in, Iceland in Iceland, it's amazing. We're like all friends, we all know each other. And if we need anything from anyone, he's really uh, always... Yeah. Yeah, you can always ask someone from another band to help you out if, you, if you're in trouble. And, and everybody is like super willing. What's your musical background? You, you learn by yourself or you go to school? My father taught me like, like the basis of playing guitar, and uh, I got uh, one year learning how to play the bass in, uh, at the musical school. But, but apart from that, I've learned by myself and the internet. Yeah, me too. Uh, I uh, also learned by myself on guitar and uh, drums, and uh, yeah, just like want to play and, and everything. We were in a band together when we were like yeah. really young, and he was playing the drums then. Mm -hmm. And I was playing guitar and singing. It's called Wipe Wipeout. Really good band. Yeah, great best band. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I studied saxophone for a couple of years, and then uh, I just put it aside and like m wasn't that interested in uh, in playing music for a couple of years. And then Margaret got me playing again. You got a lot of new impressions uh, through the last years coming out of I Iceland and see different stages. Uh, so what do you get for impressions or maybe you have a funny story? Always forgetting about something and especially him. I forgot my passport. Yeah? Yesterday. <laughs> this time? Yeah, yesterday. But that got worked out. Um, but like playing... Then he forgot his card. <laughs> his uh, credit card. <laughs> and then he forgot his bag and our drummer's back. Let's not let's not talk about that. Thrown into this situation, never expecting uh, anything like this ever, and it's just the most amazing thing that we uh, have ever experienced. I think yeah. it's just like all you said, it's a privilege. We're always bummed to like go home. So. Yeah.